again I'm going to do my second unboxing video um, like the internet needs another youtuber fat guy smoking pipes but uh, anyway um, uh, um, today I'm smoking the one I unboxed actually yesterday which is this um, this is a um, Briarworks Icarus pipe uh, it it's the smooth volcano. I believe it's a light smooth volcano. The it's very kind of light brown. Uh, I have some Carter Hall in it. Uh, the stem is uh, you know the brown amber. It's really gorgeous. It's uh, it's really a look good looking pipe. Um, the band is. I wasn't crazy about the band in the picture, but I don't mind it. Um, you know, I, I'm not usually a big fan of the... I don't mind a real silver ring on, like, an older pipe, but the nickel just on certain pipes, just it's almost, like, too bright. You like something a little dull. Like, I don't, even on my silver pipe, I have a couple of pipes with the silver sterling bands, and uh, I, I don't mind leaving them a little tarnished if I polish it up. Um, so... You know, I have one that's a nice Ehrlich sitter um, that I use specifically for one of the old uh, Ehrlich. The shop's no longer in existence, but they still sell it at Lebanon Pierce called the DPE blend. Um, I think I'm out of it now, but um, it, it's one of, you know, a good store blend uh, from an old, old store. And uh, it, but... Uh, but yeah, no, it has, you know, that nice sterling silver ring, but it always, I like it when it's a little darker. Uh, the, it just, on the black sitter, it just looks great. I'll probably bring that out here one night to smoke, but uh, it was one of those estate pipes I bought on eBay because I was looking for something. Airlix was the first shop when I started cigars um, about 25 years ago that I really went into. Um, they actually used to sell uh, Red R back his his cigars. They uh, told me they were uh, when the Celtics won. He'd smoke a uh, Hoyo de Monterey Excalibur, which is also one of my favorite cigars too. Um, it, it's one of those real good classic cigars. It's uh, a great cigar if you have someone who wants to try cigars you get them the the Connecticut version of the Hoyo de Monterey Excalibur it's it's not mild mild like like say a Macanudo but it has a it has flavor to it it has a lot of subtlety and a lot of things that you can pick up on I mean I haven't had one in in a while so I'll probably I think I might be heading down to my local shop, Boda Pipe, so I might try to see if they have a couple tomorrow. Now I'm getting that kind of craving for one. But um, anyway, they're, they're, it's it's a really good. If you have someone who's... who's, who's I've introduced people like want to try cigars, I'd always give them one of those. And, uh, and it's not harsh. It's easy smoking and uh, has a little bit of sweetness to it. And uh, it's just a great cigar. Um, you know, now everything... I, I'm not crazy about some of the way the cigars have gone. It's like now, the you know, like a 50 ring gauge used to be a big cigar. Now everything, you know, you see 60s and 70s and, and it's just... Why? It's just... You can get so much flavor in, in just a Corona or... Or, you know, and to me, I usually don't, not often like, I mean, I have a few Gordos, you know, with the 60s, but I don't know. They just, they seem too big. I, I don't know. Maybe I think someone's trying to compensate for something when they get one of those. But anyway, that's just my quick little cigar rant. But uh, Ehrlich's had some great store blends. Um, there's store Levitt and Pierce in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, sells their, their old blends and uh, I believe you can get them online so I'll probably try to put an order through them one of these days 
and of course Peretti's is 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 still around and there they have so many good blends and uh you know i need to restock from them too i'll probably get a, a couple of their paint cans uh just to uh, you know just to place an order it's actually the way the taxes work out for a while it was actually cheaper to you know because i'm from boston the, the way the taxes are in massachusetts uh the um it was actually cheaper to to you know <laughs> you know to ship it uh than pay the taxes in boston you know to, it's you know it's crazy but um anyway i'll get back to the pipe and and the unboxing oops and i let it go out but no it's a it's a nice pipe the um you know like i said last night the stem is a touch loose i i can't find my beeswax so i gotta i gotta I'll probably just get a new stick next time I see one. Um, it's cheap enough. I usually have one somewhere, but I just can't find it right now. And uh, But I love the little kind of almost S-curve on that, where it kind of wants to go down, then up and down. It just... The more I look at it, the more I like it, and it just looks different from each angle. And, and I, you know, the way it kind of slopes forward and curves, it just... it, it it reminds me of like a like a like a tsugi, like a like a Japanese style pipe. It's really a, a it's a nice model. They have a few good ones. They had a a strawberry. I was considering they called it, it but um, this was my favorite one that I, I saw, and I'm I'm glad. And I got a pretty good deal on it on eBay. So for a new pipe, it I got a good price on it. So I, I can't complain on that but anyway i have a box to open today um this one is from uh, dagner and let me i just wanted to uh you know just trying to fill out the rack a little more uh, so, um, also, you know, I, I try to look for things that are a decent value because, you know, I'm not floating in money and, uh, and I probably need to get a better knife than this, but here we go. But now the order was good. The postal service actually delivered on time for once. And here comes my dog, Kaylee. Hey, girl. I think she thinks I have a treat for her, but poor thing's going to be disappointed, aren't you? Aw, poor baby. Well, anyway, let's see. Yep, it looks like I have the invoice. Oh, wow, a lot. Okay. So... You have the note with the little lipstick mark. That's my first order from them. I haven't had one, but I really like the looks of some of their pipes. And it was, uh, man, I saw a couple online that weren't in stock that I would have loved. But, um, but you know, I got one that I, I really like. Um, and I second that. I think I will. But, uh, you know, this is... Uh, but that, that's an invoice. It looks like there's a, a sticker, a business card, another sticker. Probably put one on the car. Instagram that shit. <laughs> More stickers. Oh, yeah, the Missouri Meacham one. I like that. Uh, and the, uh, the beard. Not quite there. I tried to do mine a little longer, but it just, after a certain point, it curls. And I need to kind of shave that off back into a goatee. I've just been kind of lazy. And this is like a decal, so I'll probably put something on my car just to see if I ever get any honks or comments on it. 
Um, but uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I have. Oh, I did get a cozy. So let's see. Cozy's cool. Well, you know what? I can put this to use right now. This rolling rock. I like. I don't know. Good cheap beer. That's I always like Rolling Rock. It's dependable and uh, you know just not the best beer, but but it does the job when you want it. And uh, this is the uh, first pipe. It's the uh, it's the Missouri Meerschaum uh, poker. It's it, it looks nice. It's a nice little short light you know it's I, I I mean I have a I have several cobs so it's this is um they're really upping their game though I, I want to get a couple of those uh, the devil answers that they have on their sites now either at uh, I think Aristocob has them as well as Missouri Marsham site but um, yeah they're really coming around as far as what they're offering which is cool and uh, and working with someone like this is great but uh, it's a nice little short little nose burner it sits nice and it's what an acrylic bit I think I thought it was vulcanite but when you put it in your teeth you feel I'm not a chewer I've never really been one to chew through bits but I, I kind of like the vulcanite feel a little better um, it's just a little softer uh, sometimes that little chatter, it just, but I, I don't mind acrylic, but, you know, it's not enough where I'd use a soft fit, but, uh, but uh, it's, I, you know, I, I'm just not a fan of, of the, uh, you know, I like the acrylic and I like the colors, but I like the feel of the, the vulcanite. And this is the second one. This one was tough to decide on, but um, it's the um, the P6 Bulldog. I I love the kind of distressed look on the um, you know on the bowl with the uh, you know on the carbon fiber. You probably can't really get that well, but I'll probably post some pictures of these too. Uh, the um, I like that carbon fiber big. You get so many things like, you know, I'm a fly fisherman, so, you know, I've been using carbon fiber fishing rods forever, and, uh, you know, so it, yeah, I like the graphite band, and, uh, okay, so, yeah, it's a good tight fit. But it's, uh, nice done. Drilling is, drilling is spot on. If they use a coating, it's very minor. It's, it's black inside the bowl. But, you know, I like the way it looks a little aged. Like it's a little worn, almost. It's not, you know, if it were shiny and black, it would just, to me, I like that little distress, like when you look around the bowl and you can see it, it almost, it looks like a fault, but it's not, and, and it, you know, it, it's just kind of a cool look to them, and, uh, you know, so that's definitely one I'd like, and I don't know if you'll get much here, but that's the air stamp, but it's a couple beautiful pipes. Um, I'm definitely going to look forward to breaking these in. I don't think I'll, I don't think, I usually like to do a few bowls of Carter Hall and new pipes to kind of get them started. So, um, I don't know if I really need to do that in the, in this one, but, um, in the Mersham, but they, um, we'll see. It, it's a, they're both really nice. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely impressed with the quality. I was thinking of one of the, they had the last one of the next series, which was the Damascus. 
and they have the Uncle Paul, which I liked, and I, I was kind of torn between the two, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of making a couple of more big purchases, and, and I'm just, you know, just, you know, with my tax refund, I'm thinking of getting something custom made on a, in a Mersham, and uh, also looking at a few different a few different blenders, uh, not blenders, but a few different makers. I'm considering I want to have something kind of special that will be kind of a family heirloom for me. But um, anyway, I'll end it there. Uh, thank you again, uh, you know, the Dagner family. I, pipes look great. Haven't smoked one yet. I'll probably do that over the weekend and uh, you know, watch a Royal Rumble and, and smoke a bowl of Carter Hall in them and and uh, hopefully next video I'll try to have a little review of them. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, have a good evening. Bye-bye.